Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about um, ribs and webs, the thin parts in many of the um, CAD components that when you create a section view of them, you should not uh, hatch the uh, material that is cut. So here you see I have a stiffener here, as you can see, between the cylindrical part and the base and which is used for reinforcement and if i go to the drafting environment then i can see it here as this trapezoid and if i go ahead and um, basically create a section view of this object so that it cuts through this stiffener then the uh, area of the stiffener that is cut, which is the trapezoid, I should not apply hatching to it. But CATIA does that, and so you have to fix it. So let's say here, I go ahead and cut my um, front view. And um, bring it to this side and fix it. Now as you clearly can see, this area of this trapezoid is cut and the hatching lines are used which should not be hatched. These are exceptions on the section views on drafting ribs and webs. You should not really uh, apply hatching lines to them. So here uh, there is no automatic option you have to override that manually and what you need to do with it is you have to make sure that the hidden lines are active in your section view because not always they are right typically when you create a new view these uh, hidden line access thread center line are not active so you will see something like this so if you want to see this trapezoid area and not hatch it I recommend that you can get rid of the hash area that you want to uh, redo it right here and maybe here you want to redo the whole thing although the top one is okay but when you rehash the bottom area the shape of the hatching lines will be different from the top part so it's better to eliminate all the hatching and redo it using this fill area command so what I do, as I said, you make sure in this section view, you activate the hidden lines. Okay, so you can see the uh, boundaries. And when you do that, that's interesting. Even if you have deleted already the hatching lines, they come back. So make sure you get rid of them. Now here, that's this uh, trapezoid area that you definitely want what? You want to have it with solid lines so you can create hatching inside it. If I try to now apply this area fill and click inside this, you see it is not going to accept it from me and say this part is not closed, this profile, and I cannot really hatch it. So you need to create visible boundaries here on this trapezoid. This hole here is really behind the section plane and you don't need it so you can get rid of that portion, right? So you don't need this part don't need this part because they are not going to be cut anything that is invisible like these and you don't need them you can get rid of them and what you really need as i said is uh, this area here without of course this invisible that you need to hatch and then this area around the trapezoid that you need to hatch correct so what you do now as i said get rid of any invisible portion that you do not need and now it's only this part that you need to make visible and in order to make it visible one way is to um, use the sketch tools the line or the profile and redraw them eliminate them and redraw them or if you don't want to redraw them and constrain those lines to the exact location you can convert these guys these dash lines back into visible solid lines thick solid lines so you just uh, select them and select all of them in this case and here there is a small portion you select all of this and uh, then you right click and go to properties 
And instead of line type three, which is dash line, make it line one, which is solid. And instead of a visible thin line, make it visible thick line, which is every other line here is. If you look at them, they're line one and it's uh, two to 0.35 mil. So now they are the same as everything else. And now what you need, you click on the area fill and here in this tool palette, you make sure you choose the left option, automatic detection. Instead of profile selection, you choose automatic. And then click here in this area. And then you do it again in this area. There we go. Right? So now you got it exactly correct. That's the section view that you need. Right? These are the areas that are behind the section plane. This one and this one. This is the uh, stiffener that you should not hatch. And any other invisible lines, you make sure you either delete them or when you go here, you can inactivate them, okay? So make sure in a section line, you do not leave the invisible lines. The goal of section line is to see visibles. So if there is anything behind the section plane, like here, the walls of these holes, you do not need to show them, make them, in, hide them or delete them. Do not leave invisible lines on a section view and also on an isometric view, okay? Leave them with pure visible lines and the hatching areas, except, as I said, for ribs and webs, which are exceptions of hatching. And the reason for that you don't hatch them is because if you do, if you hatch this whole area, then you might uh, infer from it that you cut a really thick area instead of a thin area. So to avoid making the mistake that this stiffener extends all the way from left of the part to the right of the part versus this thin stiffener, you try to avoid hatching the whole area. Because if you do, then you might say, well, I'm cutting through this solid line that extends through the entire width of the part, okay? So that's why there are exceptions. And as I said, Katia does not really care about it. Katia does hatch it as if um, they are not ribs and webs, and it does it like this, which is absolutely not a good idea, okay? So make sure that you follow the standards of drafting and not cut them. So hopefully this video was useful to you and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.